Welcome to the session on Bump, Bump, Solve. So what is Bump, Bump, Solve? Very simply, it's for tickets in the pending status. And all it does, it automates the reminders to customers for more information. So for example, if you need more information on a ticket about an app problem, it will automate that first reminder, automate the second reminder, and then solve the ticket. So why should you use Bump Bump Solve? Well, one big reason is to reduce your backlog or your active ticket list. So you can see on the right in January and February, a large proportion of the tickets are pending tickets where you're waiting for more information from the customer. Now, agents can spend a lot, a lot of time on this and this can really add up over the, the kind of weeks or, or months. So by automating those reminders, the customers are a lot more productive on the genuine ticket. So more complex tickets with the customers and using that the more value add skills that agents can bring. As a result, you can improve the SLA, for example, for first reply time and the resolution time. So first reply, if you've got a smaller inbox, it's easier to sift through those tickets because there's less of them. And similarly, the resolution time will improve as well. And as a result, you're going to improve customer satisfaction. So how does it work? Very simply, if a ticket's been in the pending state for, say, three days, it automates a first reminder to the customer. If there's no reply for a further three days, it sends the second reminder. And if there's no reply after a further three days, it'll automatically solve the ticket. Now, a couple of things to bear in mind here are, these times can change, so it can be shorter or longer, depending on your business needs. And crucially, you can also add a tag to stop the reminders being sent. So for example, if a customer says, look, I'm on holiday for three weeks, don't contact me, there's a way to disable these automations as well. So first reminder, second reminder, and solve is basically bump, bump, solve. So bump is basically one reminder. So let's have a look at some examples. Here's an example of a first email reminder. Hi Merv, so it pulls in the customer's first name and asks if they've had a chance to review the ticket. The second reminder, similar thing, also pulls in their name and says, have you had a chance to review the request? If we don't hear from you within three days, we'll assume it's safe to mark the ticket as solved. If that's not the case, they can reply to the email at any time and the ticket will be reopened. So let's see how you add these. You click on admin, automations, and then click add automation. We're now going to add the first reminder, so call it bump one. We're going to set the status to pending, so ticket must be in the pending status. We're going to set the hours in the pending status, so the amount of time it's been in the pending status, we're going to choose calendar hours greater than 72, so three days. So it must be in the pending status for three calendar days, not business hours. The next thing we're going to add is tags. So we'll make sure it contains none of these tags. So don't bump. So that is the tag if we don't want this to be sent. And bump one. So when we create this automation, we're going to give it a tag bump one. The second one will be bump two. So we want to make sure none of those exist before this runs. So then we're going to perform certain actions. If all the above is satisfied, we're going to do the following. We're going to email the user, so that's going to be the requester and any people on CC. It's going to send a reminder, so we've got their ticket is waiting your response and it pulls in the ticket title. And then there's the useful thing called placeholders. So if you see ticket dot, and if I start typing that, it guesses things. So basically the requester first name, so hi Fred or whatever, and we've got a comma there. And here's one I prepared earlier. So this is just a sample reply. Obviously, you can reword this to meet your needs and kind regards the customer care team. And finally, once that email sent, we're also going to add a tag. It's important you set add tags and not set. Set will remove any existing ones. So we're going to add bump one and B1 track. So basically track the B1s and I'll explain why later and then create automation. Next, we'll add the automation for the second reminder. So again, add automation. This time, we're going to call it bump two. So second reminder. 
again, we'll set the status to pending. So the ticket must meet all of these conditions. So the status must be pending. The hours it's been pending, the calendar hours that is, must be greater than 144. So that's basically six days. So the first reminder after three days, second reminder after further three days, but only if there's been no reply. The tag, so I must make sure that it contains at least one of the following. So bump one, we'll make sure that the first reminder has been sent before sending the second one. There are then some tags that shouldn't exist. So if these exist, don't send it. So only send it if these tags don't exist. The first being don't bump. So if we don't want to send the reminder. And the other one is bump two. So if it's been sent already, we don't want to resend it. And the other one is hours since updated. So this is a good one to have. So from the second reminder from bump one, a ticket has not been updated for 72 hours. So three days. If it meets all those conditions, then what are we going to do? We're going to send that reminder. So first things first, we're going to email that requester and any people in CC. We'll set the email subject the same as last time. So reminder and include the ticket title. And in the email body, again, we'll add the sender's name, the sender's first name, hi, sender's first name, and then some sort of text about, it's been a while since we've heard from you. Please provide the requested information at your convenience. If we don't hear from you in three days, we'll assume it's safe to mark the ticket as solved. If this is not the case, simply respond to this email and your ticket will be reopened. And at the bottom, there's another placeholder, ticket comments formatted. Now this will bring in the initial thread of the ticket to remind the user what the ticket was about. And finally, we'll add the tags, bump two. And the other one is bump two track. So you can do some reporting on how many times this automation was sent because certain automations will kind of clear the bump to if the customer responds. So the final automation we're going to add is to automatically solve tickets that have no reply after a further three days or nine days in total. So let's add the final automation. We'll call it auto solve. Some of these may sound a bit familiar in this final automation. So the status will be set to pending. So only tickets in a pending state. Again, hours, it's been in pending. This time it will be 216 hours, which is nine days in total. Again, we'll add some sort of uh, filters on the tags. So we'll make sure that certain tags exist and some don't. So we'll make sure it definitely includes the bump one tag to make sure the first reminder has been sent. We'll also do the same for the second reminder to make sure the second reminder has been sent. We'll say it must contain the bump two tag. And we also need to do the, the check that one tag doesn't exist, which you should remember by now is the don't bump. So for people who don't want the automations to be sent. Or, or automatic closures too. And finally, the, a really useful thing is the hours since update. So three days since the last update, which would be bump two, the second reminder. This is also good if you want to add an internal comment, which buys you more time. It'll give you another three days until it kind of actually solves it. So if it meets all those criteria, the final piece in the jigsaw would be to solve the ticket. So if it meets all those, set the status to solved. And also, we're going to add the tag bump solved. So again, you can see how many times, how many tickets you've, you've solved through these automations the last day, week or month. So just to summarize what we went through, we added three automations and one trigger. So the first three are automations for the first reminder, the second reminder, and to solve the ticket if there's no reply. We also added a trigger to clean up the tag, so when a customer replies, the ticket goes back to open, it resets those timers. We also enable something to manage tags for don't bump, so if you don't want to send those emails, simply add that tag. And finally, we mentioned about the bump one and bump two track. These are tags which allows you to report on the tickets, so how many solves or reminders have been sent per day, week or month.